Hi guys, and welcome to this new weekly vlog. Today is Monday, it is almost 8 o'clock at night. I had work this morning from 9 to 5, and then I got to hang out with my parents and have dinner with them, which will probably be the only night this week that I'll be able to do so because I am working so much this week. So I really don't know how long this vlog is gonna be. I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize now. I did wanna go ahead and kinda start it off tonight for the rest of the night before I go to bed, which will probably be in about two hours. I am going to be working on my video for Wednesday. My weekly vlog for last week did go up today um, and so my Friday video is already filmed and edited and ready to go and I just need to make sure that my Wednesday one is edited because tomorrow I am working 9 to 5 and then 6 30 to 11 30 and the same thing on Wednesday so it's going to be a lot of work so yes I did want to share though that I got some mail this is all stuff that has to do with my planner so my planner's in one of these and then for some reason in this huge huge thing there is a ruler I don't know why it's in this big of a thing but let's open it Yay! So also, I did go and return that, see what I mean? But yay, this is what I wanted. I wanted a clear ruler that I could use so that way I could uh, measure out lines and stuff but not, but be able to see through it so that way I don't accidentally miss a line or something. So I am super excited to have this. I was able to go and return my planner that I got at Target so I did that today and I'm really glad I was able to. So I'm now going to open this one if I can get it. Why is it so difficult? Look at it! Look at it! So it does look a little bit wider which is nice. So I'm going to have a lot more pages to work with. And this one was like literally the same price as the one that I got from Target. Only I've heard it's so much better. Ooh, yeah these pages are nice. So. This with this one, it starts with the name and address. Then the first like actual page is the content page, which has um, the pages and then the topic right here. So you can just write in everything and it has that page. And it does go on for two more pages before it just goes straight into the dots. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. I cannot wait to use it and these are also they are numbered I don't know if you can see that but they all are numbered which is also really cool so yeah and then also what is different about this one is that you get not one but two bookmarks so that way I'm gonna be able to put one of them in like the weekly space where I'm where I'm at in here and then also maybe like the monthly space or something I don't know but this feels really nice and I am super excited to try it out Woo! so I'm probably not gonna be doing too much to it this week simply because I'm working so much and I'm gonna be really tired and then the nice pins that I bought to go along with these are gonna be delivering on Thursday or Wednesday, excuse me. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna be kind of sitting this on my bedside table until I can um, kind of mess with it and do some fun things with it over the weekend. All right, so yeah, so now I'm probably just gonna go ahead and start working on the editing for my February wrap up. I just need to finish it because I have started it already and then I'm gonna be heading to bed, so yeah. And then also I haven't read anything today. <laughs> Um, I'm probably, um, Thursday is the only day where I only, like, besides tonight, Thursday is the only day where I do not work during the day, I only work at night, so hopefully I will be able to read all day that day and, um, just kind of enjoy the day. I did listen to a little bit of A Torch Against the Night on my way to and from work, um, so hopefully I will be able to, con I'm just going to be able to continue doing that this week and then... Um, hopefully Thursday I will be able to continue and finish my Magnus Chase book. So that is the hope. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get editing and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello guys. A happy Thursday. I know it's been a little bit since I've been able to vlog. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday were both crazy days with work. It's like 8 15 this morning. I'm still kind of exhausted, but I am up. I do not have to go to my day job today. I only need to go to my job tonight, and that is again at 6.30. So, 
today is going to be a pretty good day. My plans for today, there are three things that I would like to do today. At some point today, I do want to film two videos and that will be my two videos for next week. And then I want to do some things in my bullet journal and then I would like to finish my Magnus Chase um, and the Hammer of Thor. I have gotten to, um, just from reading over the past couple days, I have gotten to page 100 out of 459. So I still have a bit to go. But it'll be all right. I really want to get those done. I think that I did mention on Monday that I wound up getting my new bullet journal. And then I did want to share what came in yesterday, if I can find them. Um, these wound up delivering. These are the St Stadler um, pigment liners. There are six in here. The numbers all range from 0 0.05 up to 0 0.8. I don't want to go crazy today because the last time that I started my bullet journal last week I wound up doing it so much that I could my neck <laughs> hurt so bad. What I'm gonna do is first of all I'm gonna go ahead and head downstairs and have some breakfast and I'm just gonna kind of take my time down there. I'm gonna bring my book with me and I really I would really like to get to page maybe like 300 before I come back up and start getting ready to do some filming because it is also oh also because it is now March 1st happy March um, and by the time this video goes up my February wrap-up will have already happened so you guys know that I am wanting to do my um, the emojiathon I am worried about trying to do the emojiathon now because I don't think that I'm gonna have time to do nearly as much reading as I did in January and February because of how intense my work schedule is turning out to be so we will see what happens with that so I may not get that many books done and I will have to um, kind of move around the challenges a little bit to make it work because I want to be able to complete the Emojiathon, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do 12, 13 books this month because it is already again the first and I still do need to finish A Torch Against the Night and, and the Magnus Chase book. So that's gonna take some time. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some breakfast and then I'm gonna be reading a little bit and then I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right guys, hello, check-in time. So I thought why not go ahead and film over here while I still have all of my filming stuff set up so the lighting is really nice. Um, I did just finish filming two of my videos and I did get, I think, to page like 175, maybe 200, I don't even remember where I'm at. Oh my goodness, where's my book? I did get to page two, uh, 270 in the Magnus Chase book um, and it is currently um, one o'clock on the dot. So I do have a few, I do have quite a few hours to be able to sit down and get to enjoy doing some of my bullet journaling. So I thought that I would do that. And I'm going to be listening to A Torch Against the Night while I, um, on audiobook while I do it. Um, so I'm probably not going to spend too much time on it. I maybe only like one or two hours because I would like to be able to continue this book and finish it today if possible. So that is what I would like to do. So I'm probably just going to get all set up and camped in bed and nice and comfortable. And I will probably catch up with you guys in a little bit and show you guys some of the pages that I make. Hey guys, good morning. Um, happy Saturday. So let's talk for a little bit, shall we? Um, I have my puppy right down here with me and we are just hanging out. Um, this week has been insane. Um, let's go ahead and just start with that. This week has been crazy. Um, so I meant to continue filming a little bit on, what was it, Thursday, I think? Wednesday, Thursday, whatever day was that I was off. Um, Thursday? Thursday. Yes, Thursday. <laughs> what I was planning on doing with you guys was go, um, was writing a little bit in my bullet journal and then continuing reading and then, um, and then kind of, you know, catch you guys up a little bit. So what I wanted to share was the fact that Thursday was a rough day. So on Thursday, what I wound up doing was I got my key re, re, -dro re I redid my, my key and then I started drawing my future log if you can see this at all I got through both pages of organizing that and pencil um, and it took me like an hour and a half because I kept erasing and getting so frustrated just making sure that all of the lines and everything were correct and that the spacing was correct I wound up actually getting really angry at myself because I couldn't seem to figure out the lines and the perfect way to do it and make sure that all the boxes were perfectly straight and everything and you know like are not perfectly straight but like perfectly spaced and 
it was just really bad because Thursday was really kind of my only like full day off besides working at night because when I was off on Monday I still worked a full eight shift eight hour shift and then um, had that night off but every other day I was working 14 hour days and so I got so mad at myself because suddenly I realized that I had wasted basically like an hour and a half two hours ish of my time doing this bullet journal and I only got like five pages done in it um and then I got really angry because one of the only other things that I wanted to get done that day was finish Magnus Chase and the Guards of Asgard book two the Hammer of Thor and I wound up not getting it done on Thursday I actually wasn't able to finish it until yesterday being Friday um and it's only literally a day difference but like my reading has already gone down so much because of, because of my work changes and I knew that that was going to happen but it just frustrated me so much that I wound up having like basically a little mini breakdown um where I just started crying and just being really upset I was just like super upset because I couldn't seem to figure out what was the best thing to do for my bullet journal because I realized that now that my time is so limited because of work that I needed to really figure out what I wanted to spend my time doing and I realized that if I only have one or two days like portions off in a week of you know to be able to do things do I really want to spend that time filling up this journal and the answer to that is no so I've already actually printed off my return slip to Amazon to return that notebook I'm just honestly just going to be keeping all of my stuff tracked on my phone or on my OneNote like I've already been doing and I think that bullet journals are really really fun but unfortunately I'm just so busy right now that if I only have an hour or two a day to be able to do things tracking things in my bullet journal is not the what I want to be doing. So Thursday was not a great day after I um, finished talking with you guys and realized all that and realized because I think I just got so angry because I wasted that time and I just told myself that I wanted to finish this book and the fact that I didn't frustrated me um, and then also the fact that like I wound up having to stop reading this at a really big point near the end of the book because I only had about 50 pages left before I had to leave for work that night um, to go to Target to go work my night job and I didn't want to stop reading but I didn't have a choice so then I wound up having to just like slip the last 50 pages in between my breaks and my small amount of time off that I had between um, my two jobs yesterday being Friday so I am returning that and then also just kind of the thing where I spent $20 on this and that's like basically a book and a half. <laughs> I definitely compare a lot of my purchases being like okay well if I buy this that means that I can't you know that's money that could have gone towards books and for me I'm not artistic enough I'm not passionate enough to really make and keep a scrapbook type journal being the bullet journal so it's such a fun idea and I highly recommend it to people that get a lot of fun out of that kind of stuff. Knowing that going forward, I'm gonna have to work on time management a lot more. I think that's just gonna be kind of what it is. Like I'm definitely just gonna have to work on my time management considering how limited my time, especially Monday through Friday is going to be. So that is something that I am keeping in mind going to the future and I just wanted to kind of mention that to you guys. So now let's go ahead and just kind of move into the more fun stuff which is talking about books. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. Um, I've already had a really, really productive day. So like I said, first of all, I did finish this book yesterday. This book actually caught me so much by surprise in the best way possible. I told you guys that I wasn't like not a not huge fan of the first Magnus Chase book, but it definitely, I didn't get as enthralled with it, I guess you could say, as I did with so many of the other Rick Riordan books. This one though was so good. I gave this one a 5 out of 5 stars actually. This is um, amazing. I love this book. I love, I just really like the journey, like the mental and personality journey, the maturity journey I guess, that Magnus is going on. I really like the way that his character is going. And then Alex. Alex! I love Alex's character in this book. So much oh my gosh new favorite character I just love kind of the counter characters that Alex and Sam both make against each other I like that they're both Loki's children but are definitely kind of 
made from different threads almost because they are so different yet so similar at the same time and I just love seeing the difference between the two of them and I love the way that their characters play off from one another it was just this book was such a good time and I'm actually I am so stoked now to read the third book and see what's gonna happen I now do have to wait because I did say that I'm gonna be reading the second Apollo book before I read this third one so I do have to remain patient and then also I'm really sad because I so I can already kind of tell obviously that my reading is gonna go down because of my work schedule ling work scheduling work schedule whatever um <laughs> And I, so I'm worried about getting all 12 books done for the emoji a -thon. I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to do that many books this month just because I'm mostly going to be reading on the weekends and then on like my mornings off. And since I did read a majority of this book in March, if I wind up not being able to read the second Apollo book in March just because I kind of want to focus on some of the other books, this one is going to count as my book for the car emoji the one where it says that you need to pick a book that travels because they travel to quite a few different locations in this book so I will count it but this book was fantastic also Sam and Amir's relationship in this I almost forgot to mention that I love their relationship so much and just how dedicated he is to her and I like the fact that we kind of have like because Amir is just a regular mortal he's not a demigod or anything and I really like the fact that we are kind of getting to see his you know little perspectives in and kind of his reactions and stuff to everything i think also what i love is magnus is so different from jason percy and apollo kind of our other four like main leads in the other books i love him because he's kind of you know he's the pacifist out of all four of them he's the one that is the healer he likes to protect more than you know fight like the other three guys so i mean not that apollo really likes to fight either but like definitely between the demigods uh jason percy and now magnus i just i really really like his character a lot and i cannot wait to read the third book and then also actually i did read another book this morning that i started and finished and that is i actually the dust jackets over there but i actually read started read and finished history is all you left me by adam silvera this morning um i decided just to take it easy this morning and just enjoy this book and oh my god I give this one a five out of five stars which is crazy that I'm giving two five out of star five star books back to back I love the, how imperfect every single character in this book is I love the understanding and I love the sympathy and I love how devastated everyone is like I love it like in a you know just I sympathize so much for these characters and this book just I, I mean, I think every single page that I read, I was pretty much misty-eyed throughout this entire book and definitely did cry, like, tears, tears, man, in a couple of, um, in this book as well, especially at a few certain pages and just the relationships and, like, it's, what I found interesting was, you know, there was definitely some unhealthy coping mechanisms that were happening in this book, but I feel like near the end of it, you're, you were getting to see a lot of them definitely not heal but like starting to get to the place where they are feeling like they can be healed in the future and they were starting to recognize the things that they were doing wrong and you could see already the strengths and the strides that they were going to fix the things that they were doing in the book and i really liked that that was included i really really loved all of the different characters and everything in this book i had so much fun. i wouldn't say Fun, but I just really really I was I'm so glad that I read this book and I'm really gonna want to pick up some more of his other stuff great start to March in my opinion the things that I'm gonna be doing this weekend so the weekends are now really going to be my kind of like playing catch-up this weekend I do need to edit my two technically all three videos for next week this reading vlog and then my two my review video for Wednesday and then my video for Friday. The only thing that I am really doing this weekend is I am going to see and hang out with Emily tomorrow because we are going to be working on her book some more tomorrow. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be over there, but I might either bring my laptop or a book with me and read whenever she's typing away. And it's kind of going to be like just like a 
hanging out session kind of thing. So something super exciting that I did wanted to mention. So um, there is a book series that I follow called Rebel in the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. I don't know if you know it. The first few books in this series are out. It's Rebel in the Sands and then uh, Traitors of the Throne are already out. I have read them both and enjoyed them. She's, she's releasing the third book here at the fall and on the 12th, so a week from now, she is going to be at Park Roads Books in Charlotte, North Carolina at 7 p.m. and she's actually being joined by by Rashani Tchotchke and Renee Audier and I am so so thrilled that this is actually happening. Um, I've requested off of work. I am 100% going. If any of you guys are going to be in the area and want to come and stop by and support these three amazing authors and want to come join me, I think it'd be super fun. I don't know how big of a turnout this is going to be. I've never been to that bookstore before, so it's going to kind of be exciting to get to see authors, but also get to go check out a new bookstore. So I'm super excited. And Emily's coming with me, and we are stoked. I'm excited to get to meet them and to get this new book. So I'm actually going to go ahead and choose my next book that I'm going to be starting to read with you guys on camera, but then I am before I actually get started reading it, I am going to go ahead and um, try to get one of the videos completely edited and ready to go. That way I don't have to worry about it. Um, and then I will probably start reading a little bit and then re and then edit the next one later this afternoon. Let me pull up my list of books I need to read that I own because there's still, there are actually a lot of the books that I have yet to um, receive. Oh, I am probably going to go ahead and knock out Quidditch Through the Ages because that's such a short book that I can totally do that. So I don't want to start out Outlander right now. I feel like that would just be too much. So the only other book that I actually have on my shelf that I have on this list is the Paper Magicians book. And that is this one right here, Paper Magicians. And this book is um, 222 pages. So I think that I could definitely read this today. That'd be really cool if I could read this and then also read Quidditch Through the Ages so I can go ahead and knock out um, three books today. So the some of the books that I'm super excited about are coming, are releasing this Tuesday. So The Beauty That Remains by, by Ashley Woodfolk, Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi, um, Ink, Ink Mistress by Audrey Colthurst, Here at the Fall that I mentioned by um, Alwyn Hamilton, and then The Case for Jamie by Brittany Cavallero are all coming out on the 6th of March. Um, the Case for Jamie, I don't think I'm going to be picking up right now simply because I'm trying to be better about not purchasing sequels if I haven't read the first books, which I think I should be getting, I should be better at doing that because it's kind of a, not a good thing that I do that considering I'm buying books if I don't even know if I like the first one. Um, and then Obsidio is coming out on the 13th by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And then, um, Arsha and the End of Time by Roshani Tchotchke is coming out on the 27th. So, super exciting. This is going to be a really good month. And I've heard apparently there are some, there are also some really good other things that are coming out in March. I just haven't had a chance to write them down yet. But I know that I'm definitely going to wait to purchase Here's of the Fall at the signing. That way, um, that way I can purchase there. I'm really, I don't know if we are allowed to bring other books with us because I know some, some authors you can't for time's sake and some you can, some allow it. I would love to get to bring the first other two books. That'd be amazing. I just don't know if I should bother doing that. Um, I wouldn't mind carrying them around, but I don't know if that's a thing that they allow. So be good to know, but okay. So I'm going to go ahead and find some places. I need to get some, find some places to put these on my bookshelves now. And then I'm going to go ahead and probably start editing my book review video and then I will read this. Hey guys, so a little bit of an update time for you. It is just a little bit past five o'clock. I did finish um, editing a video and it is now exporting. Um, so I finished my reviews video for Wednesday. Um, and then I very quickly finished reading, um, the Quidditch Through the Ages, technically by Killa Worthy Wisp. Um, this was just really fun because it does talk about the different roles in Quidditch, the history behind Quidditch, how it got really popular all over the world, and then the different type of brooms, and it's just a really fun book. And it was super fast though, so yeah, I, I'm done with it. That was fun. Um, so I'm going to probably go ahead and head down just for a little bit of change of scenery. Um, and then I'm probably going to go ahead and get started with the paper magician. I think that sounds fun because I want to make sure I would like to finish this tonight. Hello guys. Happy Sunday. So <clears throat> 
I am sick. Um, I'm very, very upset about it. Um, but I could feel myself not feeling all that great yesterday and even a little bit on Friday. And then I woke up this morning and it is here. I am feeling horrible I don't feel good at all um but i still decided that i wanted to kind of get ready a little bit so i literally just did my brows and put on some mascara um just so i feel a little bit better i did wash my hair and it so it feels nice and clean which i'm happy about um but I have not really done a lot of anything today. I have just been super comfortable and super chill. I did finish editing my video for Friday. So now Wednesday and Friday's videos are all ready to go. I just need to continue editing my uh, my reading vlog for this week. So this morning I did finish reading The Paper Magician by Charlie and Holmberg. And I wound up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars. I thought that this book was just really charming and just really really just, and just honestly a really good start to the trilogy. I think that this is just going to be a really fun series to read and I cannot wait to get to continue it. So yeah um this one I didn't I realized that I really haven't mentioned really what this book is really about at all. This is the back right here you guys can read if you would like you can pause it and read it if you would like um but it's basically about this girl Sienny. People get to go to the school um and once they graduate they get to go and, and be become an apprentice for a specific type of magic so there's different ones where you can become a magician over like welding type of things um this one focuses on paper but also glass blood Sienny winds up apprenticing to become a paper magician which is why it's called the paper magician as her mentor actually winds up getting hurt and just through a lot of little adventure type twists and turns of the book Sienny winds up actually getting thrown into Emery who is her mentor's heart and she has to go through the four different valves of his heart to save him and it was just really interesting it is a very unique read. This book I think does lack a little bit in world building because you kind of just jump straight in with Sienny and you kind of just start following her so I think a little bit of the world building was lacking but you did kind of pick up on quite a few of it um, by inferring different things as you read in the book. So yes yeah, so the second book The Glass Magician um I do really want to read. I'm just not sure. It's probably not going to be this month. I'm going to wind up reading it just because my TBR for the Emojiathon is quite full. Um, so I don't think that's going to happen. I will probably have to wait until April to pick it up and, and, and read it. Right, so with the four books that I have read, I have completed five of the challenges so far. The first one being the Shrug Emoji, which is read a book that you haven't read yet and you don't know why. The Brain Emoji, which is to read a mental illness book. Both of those were completed when I read History is All You Left Me. Um, the Soccer Ball Emoji, which is read a book that involves sports. I'm sorry, uh, six, six challenges. Because then the Hourglass, which is to read a book that you've started but haven't finished. I read, I got both of those checked off when I read Quidditch Through the Ages. Um, then I finished the Car Emoji, which is to read a, um, a road trip book slash book that features travel, which is what I decided to include with The Hammer of Thor by Rick Riordan, and then The um, Sunglasses Face, which is to read a book they've never read before, or an indie author slash unknown author, which is what I got for reading The Paper Magician. I think today if I continue reading, which I really do want to, I think I'm going to start reading The Bells by Danielle Clayton. I do have an ebook version on my phone, even though I am wanting to get the regular hardback edition because that book is beautiful. Um, but I think I am probably going to start reading that a little in a little bit. I just do need to like really kind of focus on editing this video. Also, I did realize that I did completely forget to mention one of the challenges, and that was the two girls holding hand emoji, which is to buddy read. Because I told myself as I was filming that video, that TBR video, that I need to remember to mention that at the end of the video, and then I wound up not mentioning it. So if there are any books on on the TBR that you guys saw me mention that you guys would like to join me in reading and doing a buddy read I can um, we can do it a couple different ways I have a hair in my eye uh, there it is um 
we can do it a couple different ways. I can make a Facebook group or um, like a big like email group or just something like that or like even like an, I think some people do it in ways of like there's an app that you can um, get where it's you can kind of like talk to each other back and forth like we can do that. Um, if any of you guys are just interested in a book I will probably only do one book though just because my reading schedule right now is so sporadic so I don't want to try to do it like all month long. So if there's just like maybe if there's one book in particular that a lot of us want to read we can try to pick like a weekend or something to um, to marathon it and I think that'd be really fun um, and it's a really good way to get to talk to you guys so just want to put that out there so you guys can leave me some comments down below let me know if there's any book in particular you'd like to read with me all right folks so I did want to go ahead and wrap up this week's vlog I did read four books this week the first one being the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard book two the Hammer of Thor which I really enjoyed I gave this book a five out of five stars it definitely took by surprise but I am so happy that I got to read it. Then I sped through the Quidditch Through the Ages by Kennel Worthy Wisp which is actually of course JK Rowling. Four out of five, five out of five stars. Pretty much any extra material that I get with the Harry Potter world I always tend to really enjoy. And then I read History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera, which crushed my heart and soul, but in the best way. Gave it a 5 out of 5 stars as well. And then I read The Paper Magician by Charlie N. Holmberg and gave this one a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, and then I, so far, I have gotten through about 30% of The Bells by Danielle Clayton today. I've been really enjoying it. It's really, really good. One of my favorite things about this book so far is just how descriptive the book is. I think that the way that Danielle just really describes all of the colors and just everything about this world is fantastic and I'm really enjoying it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you've enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and you guys should totally leave me a comment down below about pretty much just anything that you'd like to talk to me about. I really would like to be able to discuss comments that are put on my vlogs in the next weekly vlog. So if you guys have just any questions or anything you'd like to ask me, any discussions that you would like to get started, totally leave those down in the comments and I can answer those in like shorter detail towards the comment, but then also in more detail in the next reading vlog. So again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.